What's up YouTube, Poochie1877 here with another video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a simple YouTube intro for your videos in uh, Adobe After Effects CS4. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and click on File, New, New Project, Composition, New Composition, and Title. Go ahead and title it. We're going to title this... Uh, YouTube test intro. Alright. So uh, set the screen resolution to 1280 by 720. Uh, frame rate to about 30 and the duration to about uh, 10 seconds. Okay. Go ahead and click OK. Go up here to File. And we're going to import all the things that we need. So first off, import a image to use for the background. So let's see if I can find my image folder. I think I've gone too far. Maps pick folder, and we're going to use this one here. Open that up, and we're gonna go, and we're gonna get the animation that we're gonna use, which is the Flourish animation. I've uploaded it to Mediafire, so there'll be a link in the description to go and get that. We'll go into File, and just grab your Flourish animation wherever you saved it. Yeah. Okay, we don't need the, that just yet, but we'll be using it a bit later. Okay, so go ahead and take your picture, drag and drop it into your uh, work area here, and just stretch this out to uh, fit the screen, like so. Um, go up here to your uh, shapes tool, hit Q until you get the ellipse tool, double click that, turn this into sort of a sphere. Go down into uh, Mask 1 here, let's click this, go into Mask Feather, type in about 67, All right, and it gives a nice kind of feather effect. Right. So uh, I'll go back up to uh, your Shape tool, and uh, Hit Q until you get the rectangle tool. Uh, if I'm going too fast here for you, you feel free to pause the video. Alright, so now we're going to make the bar that we're going to enter our text on. Okay, just like so. Go ahead, click on this, and turn on Title Action Safe. And then select your selection tool. Title Action Safe will uh, show you where the center of the screen is so you can center your bar up. Just like so. Alright, so I'll go ahead and turn Title Action Safe back off. And we're going to go up to our text. And we're going to just do this here. For this video, uh, we'll just call it YouTube test. Now you can change the font size over here and the font style or the even the uh, text color but I'm going to do it a uh, easier way for sh changing the text size and it's going to stretch it out here Like so. I'm going to turn back on Title Action Safe to find the center of the screen. Drag it in to place. Like so. Turn back off Title Action Safe. Now the text looks a little plain right now. So we're going to fix that. We're going to give it kind of a glow to help it to stand out a bit. So go over to your text. Right click on that. Hit Effect. Go into Stylize. 
and just hit glow. It kind of helps it to stand out a bit. Okay. Now we're going to animate the text. Okay, so first off, what you got to do, you got to drag your indicator here on your timeline. Drag that to about four and a half, five seconds. Okay. And you'll see this tab here. The work area end here, and then you just take that and you match it up like so. All right, make sure your timeline indicator is back at zero. We'll go ahead and we'll click on animation, apply preset animation. You click on this little tab here if it's not already set to text, you just hit text, open, and click on. 3D text to open that up. Uh, I'm going to use the one I usually use, which is this one here. Fly down random and rotate Y. Alright. And you'll see the text just kind of falls into place there. Alright. Okay, so this is where our, um, our, flourish, our flourish effect comes in. So uh, well, let's take that, drag and drop that under shape layer 1. Okay, now it's very big right now. So we're going to put this down to about 25%. And just shrink it down. Go back to fit up to 100%. And we'll uh, just go down the timeline just a bit here so we can see it. Alright, we'll slim it down a bit. And stretch it out a bit. Alright. Widen it out a bit. Just like that. Okay, so you see this animation here. I just kind of uh, randomly goes up just like that. Alright, so you see it's looking pretty plain right now, right? So, what you're going to do, you go ahead and right click on the flourish animation. Go into effect, stylize, and hit CC glass. Gives it kind of a more 3D look. Okay, and we're going to apply an animation to this now. So ensure the flourish animation is selected. And we're going to go into browse animation presets. Like so it's already open. Okay, we're going to go into backgrounds. We're going to go to that lightning bend effect here. And we're going to double click on that. And it should apply the effect. Okay. And it gives it kind of like a, a flame effect, if you will. It's pretty neat. So. That's pretty much it. We're pretty much done for it. It's a very, very simple animation. Just a very simple intro. Um, so now I'll go ahead and I'll show you how to export it. Actually, you can add audio to this right now if you wanted to. You just take the audio, drag and drop it down into your, uh, your timeline here. But I recommend using an actual video editing program to add audio to your intro. Okay. So you're going to go into file, go to export, and export it as a QuickTime movie. Let's hit OK on this. Go into settings, hit best, hit OK on this, and we'll title it. We'll just title it YouTube Test Intro. So yeah, YouTube Test Intro. Oh, apparently that already exists. Um, so we'll just put YouTube test that already exists too. YouTube test five, and there we go. Sorry about that little mix up. I tried to make this video a few different times, and things have happened. So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and. Uh, yeah. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.